Will the Ukrainian armed forces be able to enter Crimea as easily as they broke through to Kursk Oblast? This is the question that residents of the peninsula began to ask themselves after the successful offensive of Ukrainian troops, which began on August the 6th. This was announced on the Telegram channel Atesh. The partisan movement noted that the victories of the Ukrainian armed forces made the Russians in Crimea lose heart. No one expected such advancement in the Kursk region. Now the occupiers are trying to predict where exactly Ukraine will strike if it decides to attack Crimea, but not everyone is doing this. Officials are taking their families and moving back to Russia. The partisan agent emphasized, adding that Russians are afraid of Ukrainian revenge. Recall Ukrainian defense forces used the Ukrainian long-range Palyantsia drone missile against a military target in the territory of the Crimean Peninsula temporarily occupied by Russia for the first time in August this year. President Volodymyr Zelensky reported that the Ukrainian army had attacked the Russian army for the first time on the 24th of August with a new weapon, the Palyantsia drone missile. Recently, Ukraine has launched a major attack on a Russian naval base in occupied Crimea. The Ukrainian armed forces struck targets near the Kirsch Bridge with precision-guided missiles. A Russian Mangust patrol boat was destroyed in the attack, a Ukrainian military source has told Sky News. The source confirmed Western-supplied weapons were used and said they proved extremely effective against this Russian military target despite high concentrations of Russian air defense systems. Nikolai Lukashenko, Crimea's Russian-installed transportation chief, said on Telegram that Ukraine's attack damaged two transport ferries. The Kirsch Bridge links Russia and Crimea over the Kirsch Strait and is regularly used by Moscow as a logistics hub to resupply its forces. It was built in 2018 after Russia's illegal annexation of Crimea four years earlier. Russian volunteers fighting on the side of Ukraine against the regime of dictator Vladimir Putin have refrained from participating in the Ukrainian Armed Forces Offensive in the Kursk region of the Russian Federation. This could have been a chance for them to reunite with their homeland. As Le Monde writes, the general staff of the Ukrainian army decided not to allow Russian rebels to participate in Kiev's most daring operation in two and a half years. Politician Ilya Ponomarev, who leads the Freedom of Russia Legion and Denis Kapustin, Rex, the commander of the Russian Volunteer Corps, confirmed that their units had been excluded from the force that invaded Kursk. The two men also confirmed a far more sensitive piece of information that has become an open secret in Kyiv in recent weeks, but which no official will comment on publicly. The general staff has excluded the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, which coordinates Russian rebels and conducts its own operations in enemy territory from the Kursk operation or at least from its initial assault phase. The Defense Intelligence of Ukraine and Russian fighters were excluded from the operation, but not for military reasons. It was more for personal reasons. The commander of the Ukrainian army, General Oleksandr Sirsky, who has a certain rivalry with the head of military intelligence, General Kirill Budinov, wanted his moment of glory to be successful, said a source close to the rebel movements. Russian rebels who have been involved in various incursions into Russia since their first raid in March 2023 in the Bryansk region and then a larger operation in June 2023 in the Belgorod region are trying not to show too much disappointment at their absence from the Kursk region. If Kyiv wished, we could govern these territories in Russia. Our movement includes former local officials, including from the Kursk region, who could govern an alternative local government to the Kremlin. Ponomarev said. He claims that this option is being discussed in Kyiv. The more militarily active far-right activist group Russian Volunteer Corps admitted that the Kursk operation was unexpected for them. It was unexpected and we were not invited to participate, although we would have liked to. On our part, we are preparing other assaults, other surprises, Kapustin said. However, the leaders of the two Russian rebel groups did not hide their admiration for the success of the Ukrainian military in Russia, an operation that exceeded all expectations and had a comforting result. Ukraine launched a record number of drone attack across 14 Russian regions with over 100 drones on the night leading to September 1st. More than 100 UAVs attacked the Moscow, Tver, Tula, Belgorod, Lipetsk, Voronezh, Kursk and Bryansk regions of Russia. 
In the Tver region, fire broke out near the local state district power station and near the Konakovo gas distribution network, which is a part of the KGMO Konakovo gas pipeline. According to the Russian Ministry of Defense, 158 aircraft-type drones were either intercepted or shot down. This is not the first case of large-scale Ukrainian drone attack on Russian territory. On August 14, the Russian Ministry of Defense announced the destruction of 117 drones over eight regions across the country.